Munster. So down the main straight, Tressida with Duckworth pushing along as now Robson. Chapman got the car a little bit sideways on the exit of the final turn and this should be enough. Look at the move from Duckworth in the background. Lucky you're alongside me. There's too much action happening here on the final lap and Robson has got through to take the lead. Pretty much two carbon copy moves happening at exactly the same time. One for the lead, one for the final position on the podium. Look at Chapman. He's got some steer in that car. The back of the back of it is just swinging around. It looks cool, but not the effective way to get fast around the track. No, but he's doing a really good job with it. I mean, it's that whole balance between if I'm nervous, I can be fast, but it's going to kill the tyre. Tress it up, bit of work to do. He's fourth, and Duckworth looking to set the fastest lap on the last lap of this race. We've had to go time certain. We've gone past that point now due to the Vodafone safety car earlier in this race. We're down to turn six for the final time. Duckworth, Magenta through this first sector, which is pretty fast at this point in the race. So he's on a massive, massive mission to try and catch Chapman. He's actually made that boost stick and got by him. Thompson locking the break up left-hand side. Charlotte Pointing has dropped back down to 15th position, where she finished in the race earlier today after starting from pole position. Five car scrap here. It's really closed up on the last lap now. So Tressida on Chapman. Duckworth has got up to second now as well. So Chapman holding on tight here and needs Duckworth. to get the final corner here right. Late there. You could see that was a great shot. You could just, well, I could see how late Duckworth was on to the break into the final little segment, but I don't think he's close enough to utilize the toe. Oh, where do you look? Here they come to the finish line now. Can Duckworth pull out of it? He's seen Robson trying to break the slipstream. He's not going to get it done. And Robson picks up his sixth win of the season by less than two tenths of a second. That was terrific to watch. Robson looked like he was dancing that car down to the start finish line. But exactly as you said, Matt, he was trying to break the toe so that Duckworth couldn't make inroads on him. That was a good finish. Duckworth in the number one machine from 14th up to second in the end. Chapman would hold down third. Tressida in fourth position. Those guys come from the mid-pack in this top 15 inversion. Behind there was Skibris, Tucker, Stevenson and Carr. Great race. Of course, we come back later today with the overall points of the weekend to set the grid for the final race in round five of this year's championship.